Hey everybody, my name is Gatamo. Welcome back for another video of Total War Rome 2. We're gonna continue the series, boys. It's been a while since I've actually played the game. So I, I gotta remember what I did exactly last time. I do remember that um, I, I had a huge battle over here, I believe, right? It was over here. I had a huge battle for Amavir, boys. And afterwards, we basically invaded Tushpa. But uh, yeah, the huge battle for Amavir. Uh, I still remember that one. Uh, so we still have this army here. I think everybody basically is done right here. I can't move anybody else. We've got the Armenians coming by. They're really close to us. Uh, they've got like small armies. So we don't need to worry about them too much. Uh, what we do need to do though. Is uh, start invading probably their last territory. So I think. I think that's the last of them. I'm pretty sure that's their last territory. Fortunately enough in Rome 2. It's one of the few uh, Rome games. where, uh, Or one of the few Total War games. Where I even if you invade all the territories. The, the AI doesn't go away. You know it's still. There's still going to be a thing. So we still got to deal with uh, the armies nonetheless. But uh, nevertheless, boys, we're doing uh, pretty good. Hopefully that uh, Macedonians are going to be able to deal with their enemies. So they can help me out eventually with the Armenian effort. Not that it's going to matter too much. I'm probably going to end finish it off before they can intervene. But uh, okay, so I, it looks like they might be retreating to their own capital or something. Their last remaining capital. Now the Grecian pact with the Pergamons, are they at war with Macedonians? Not really, so for now I'll accept, uh, you can always, you know, get rid of the non-aggression pact anyway, so for now I'll just accept, just to have protection from one side, I don't have to worry about them, I guess. Alright, so we are in our first actual uh, turn, and looks like we have a noble death, so that might be my king, he died of old age, probably. King or, or queen, right there, it looks like it's a queen who's dead, but that's quite interesting. So we got our first death, uh, death over the kings. All right, so noble death. Duty calls. Royal family now. I don't know who to put. Uh, I need to put someone from the royal family, obviously, but I don't know. I guess I'm, I'll put Chimerius, just because I don't know uh, who's who, but he does sound like the a guy from my family tree so a question of independence our enemies grow bold and we must look to our defense should we rely on strength of our warriors or strength of our diplomacy ties uh diplomacy for, uh, strength there we go we're gonna do diplomacy strength boys increase rank everything natural causes so amata is dead from amateur uh, from uh, natural causes so i think it's our queen that died probably let me just see the tree really quick though uh, just remember where we are. Okay, so we were here. All right, so let's take a look at the tree really quick. Who was Amata? I don't remember. Was Amata? Oh, okay, no. Am Amata was my aunt, boys. My aunt, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, she doesn't matter too much. But she did lo live very long, uh, for a very long time. She lived until she was a, a one, 101 years old. So she died, uh, she she got the century, uh, she got over century years old before dying. So that's really good for her. She lasted the longest over my family tree. Longer than uh, her father, which is my biggest ancestor. So that's quite interesting. That's kind of cool. I like to see that. All right, so Camiris is actually a good choice. It was a good choice. He's my cousin. So that's going to be good. It's a good choice. Atias is dead as well, so we did lose a child. Yeah, that's why I remember now we lost our oldest child. We still got three other child though, so we're gonna be fine. Uh, politics, let's. Do we want to purge them up? We have minus ninety eight, and they do have control, so we gotta purge them up, boys. Uh, I definitely think we're gonna have a civil war going on. It's bound to happen. I think uh, it's bound to happen, boys. A civil war between my entire faction. Hopefully. Hopefully not, but I just got a, a, a strange feeling that something like that might happen. So we've got my army right here. This is just a random army from a random general. So we are going to send him, I guess, towards the Armenians. We don't have anywhere else to go. So let's just send him over here, boys. Let me actually send him faster. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're just going to intercept these guys really quick. And uh, make sure that everything goes right. Next up. Just to make sure that everything's right. Uh, we do have uh, 
I guess a bonus for this uh, army right here. We got a bonus for this general. There we go. Or for this champion, I guess. We do have this guy right here. That's right. Did I move him by accident? Oh, he's on force march, but I can't move him out for some reason. Well, I don't know why I can't move him out, boys. Okay, so I'll, I'll get him to straight up towards the capital. I guess I could have attacked right there, but I don't know why I'm still on march. It's kind of a, a strange thing, I guess. But what about my other armies, though? We got these two armies to move out. We got this army right here. This is my queen's army, I believe. She is uh, my queen's and king are here. Uh, we've got a, a bonus right here. We can upgrade to her, which we are going to do. Uh, we could, uh, I guess, upgrade the entertainment or something like that. Well, from entertainment, food or public order per turn. Don't need it. I guess we could just uh, get that. I'm going to get that thing. All right. So where do we send her exactly? I think we wanted to send them over the west completely, right? To invade these guys right here. Yeah, the IST. I think that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to invade them. So uh, I guess I'll do that. Let's send her over here. Oh, hold on. Sure. Or more, I was already uh, okay. So I was already on her. So let's send her over here. We're gonna. She's gonna deal with the ASD, and my king is gonna deal with uh, these guys. I guess he's gonna go deal over here with the, whatever's going on here. There we go. We're, I know we're trespassing, but we're gonna invade them, boys. No worries. We're gonna invade them in no time next turn. Uh, anybody else? Do we have any other armies? Not at all. Okay, so we do have our scouts. I want to keep sending him over here just to uncover even more. So keep sending him here. All right, so we uncovered another faction and stuff. Okay, and next up, my other one. Now, my other one, we're still looking for uh, what to uncover more about the Romans, basically, Roman territory. So we got a couple more things that we've uncovered here. Let's continue to move really quick. There we go. Still some food while we're at it. So the Romans have most of Italy, I think. They don't. They just don't have the north of Venetia and everything. And uh, next up, all right. So let's take a look around for every single one of my territories. Make sure that I don't have uh, uh, to do any upgrades. Uh, I don't have any upgrades left to do. Basically, let's do that one right here. And uh, yeah, we do have a couple of upgrades, it looks like. Okay, and that's about it. All right, so that seems about it. So that's all we got to do. Let's see if I can't make these guys a little bit more happy. Just prevent as much as possible, like, uh, bullshit from happening. So flirt, use charming talent to impress another character. Uh, minus gravitas, pause. I don't know. I don't want to do that. Uh, do a favor. Don't really care about that. I can't really do anything. I can't. I don't want to reuse these guys. So I guess we're stuck. We're stuck with whatever we've got right here. Uh, we can't really do anything. Let me check up really quick though. We uh, we could do uh, a trade agreement with these guys. Okay, they, they, do they want to? They do. So we have a trade agreement of Apuli. Uh, next up, do we have anything else going on? Oh, well, the Giri. The Giri as well. Trade agreement. Ah, there we go. Trade agreement for these guys. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing though is I want to look at two, into these guys. They're the only relative, blood relative left for us. Uh, we're still going to be looking to to get as much as possible from them. But uh, they're always going to refuse, boys. They're always got to goddamn refuse. They don't even want to be military allies. I'm going to have to end up... Once I'm done with Parsha... I'm going to end up having to go back here and actually invade them because it's never going to I'm never going to be able to convince them to do anything else. I mean, there uh there's a, there comes a point where it's, you know, you got to invade them. It's it's just ridiculous. They just don't want to be annexed at all. They're just stubborn as hell. Let's keep giving money to the hey, Macedonians. Keep, uh, giving them money, boys, to support their war effort well. right here. Boom, just like that, buddy. You got uh, more money from me. So it seems like he's doing all right. He's got um, a recent kingdom and everything. Okay, so he, yeah, he's doing very good, it looks like. He's only at war with... Well, actually, he's at war with a couple of people. I think our common enemy is the Celti uh, Celtic Confederation. So we might as well just deal with that army really quick. Deal with that army and the rest uh, is history, my guy. Uh, next up, I don't have anything else to do. 
I just got to give money, I guess, to a bunch of different people. So what I could do is trying to reconciliate maybe with the Romans a little bit here. I mean, they're very unhappy with me. Very unhappy with me. Do we even have a non-aggression pack? We don't, but I could give them money and uh, thus like making it a little bit more moderate. Okay, so they don't want a non-aggression pack. I don't want to go at war with you just yet, buddy. So I'm willing to give you 200. Wow, all right. All right, so let me just give you straight up money just to calm your nerves up a little bit. All right, just calm your nerves up a little bit. And uh, Syracuse, I guess we could Welcome. give you uh, we could give you a trigger moment and give you some money as well. While we're at it, I got a lot of money to spare here. I got nothing Lords else to do. So uh, Iperus, just keep the, giving them money as well. The or go, just give them uh, 75k, boys. I, I can't do anything with that money anyways. I've got plenty every turn, so might as well spend it, boys. We've got an ambush going on uh, between us and the Parsians, I believe. Yeah, they, uh, they ambushed us while we were marching. Uh, we can protect ourselves. We can do like a battle right here. That's We're going to lose a lot of our forces if we, if we do that, though. And that's uh, very dangerous. The thing is, it's not a battle for the actual city, though. Or it's just slaves actually attacking me. Slaves attacking me? Really? I'm just going to do aggressive stance. I don't want to do battles like these. Boom. There we go. He's dead. So we killed the slaves right there. Uh, I guess. I don't know. They they just they straight up attacked me. So I lost like over uh, a, a 1k fan. Uh, 1k. Slave uprising crushed. Good. So we crushed that slave uprising. So we got like an uprising on us or something. That's crazy. That might be uh, something to uh, take a look at. Because there might be something even worse coming up for us, boys, uh, uh, the next turn or something uh, against the uh, family in the royal family. Maybe a civil war going on or something, boys. Kind of worried about that as well. Let me check up the politics. Okay, so we're still full, but I mean, secure loyalty really quick. As much as possible, boys. I mean, it's just minus 100. Not gonna happen. I, I don't know if the civil war is going to happen, like how does it work exactly, but um, I got a feeling it's going to be pretty bad boys soon. Uh, this guy's got a bonus as well from that, so just give him the bonus, a uh, bunch of gravitas and all. And uh, add up, nope, okay. We are, I think we're good, we got uh, nothing else to spend. My son is now five years old, the, the, the biggest one. Okay, so we're, we're good to go boys. What we can do here is we're going to take a look at all of our territories first, like always. Just make sure that uh, there's nothing to upgrade. There's actually something over here. Uh, what do we want to upgrade into? Uh, this right here. Uh, this we can have a literal upgrade for the city itself. Let's do this for sanitation to prevent, uh, mal prevent uh, anything bad from happening into the city. And uh, we got another upgrade right here, so let's do that. Okay, so now we're good. So we got my two armies right here. My queen's army, she was marching towards this place. So let's keep her marching right here. We're not even trespassing. I think we got uh, military access with these guys, it looks like. Uh, you are just going to get a resort back to normal. You're going to attack these guys. But before we do that, we are going to do uh, a b the battle for... For this city right here with the, my uh, my army. Now these guys are really... He got hurt big time. My army uh, got hurt big time from that. But uh, hopefully we're going to be fine for this city's assault. Uh, 90%. Let's just let's just do the, uh, the, the regular assault right here. We lost only 200 uh, soldiers. So that's fine. And uh, we got the city. So now we can uh, focus back on what uh, we're good at. Which is other things. We did lose a soldier unit. Uh, my generals is all my general is almost dead. We gotta make sure that they all come back. Basically, I can actually secure. Oh, we can secure some um, some melee dudes. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna end up doing then? I'm gonna merge all of them. There we go. Just merge all of them, and uh, and this guy right here, merge uh, merge him up. There we go. So we have more space, and now I can uh, actually build a bunch of. Uh, regular units boys just like that I can build a bunch of regular units and that uh, it's gonna be a little bit better 
better army for it next up uh who else do we got we got this army right here we we need to move him or we need to spend some points on him i guess we got something right here and we're gonna just spend some points on my general all right so let's keep moving boys let's attack the the armenians it seems like they've got they don't have actually anything, anybody defending their actual city. So their, their city is undefended aside from the main militia that's in it. But uh, no, no real army right here. 95%. Let's let her go. There we go. Just like that. Take that city for ourselves, boys. And uh, we're marching on. Our empire is growing stronger. Now the Armenians, that's their last remaining army right here. So they're probably their king is over there as well. Uh, we're going to do that right here. Actually, be, uh, we're not going to do that because we're already working on that. So I guess since I got this, I might as well go for plus 10 armor. Let's go for that. Okay, so he's got a bonus as well. He's got a, um, uh, a bonus from that. So let's give him commander or not. No, actually not commander. I want to do offense. There we go. Just like that. Next up, uh, we already looked into all of this. So we're good on that part. We have uh, anybody else that we wanted to do? Yeah, we do, I think, yeah. We have this uh, war right here that uh, we wanted to do against the Bells. I only have one war ongoing, right? Against Armenia? Or do, am I at war? I'm also at war with the Celtics, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm also at war with the Celtics, which is not good. Hopefully the Macedonians are going to be able to deal with them right here. And Parsia as well, I forgot, yeah. So I'm at war with Parsia. So Parsha in the east and uh, basically the Armenians, I'm still finishing them off. I feel confident enough in attacking uh, these guys right here. feel confident enough. They only have one territory. I should be able to deal with them uh, with ease. They are a satrapy of Swibi. So if I attack them, that means I'm going to have to deal with uh, these guys as well. Unless I convince I'm these sure guys to, or I can't convince them to get rid of them. But what about the Swibby? Because Swibby, I don't want to get to war with you necessarily, but uh, cancel your Chatrapy thing and uh, I'm going to give you money for it. Get, uh, give you money for the cancellation. Oh, he doesn't want to even. Even if I give you uh, money. Okay. All right. So I will have to face these guys then. That's fine by me, I guess. Uh, Odrysians are not even there anymore. The Macedons uh, managed to drive them off. But in turn, they basically traded territories right there. They're, it looks like they might be struggling a little bit against the, uh, the actual uh, Odrysians. Keep giving them money, though, to deal with uh, against their enemies. There we go. Keep giving them money. Uh, next up, I don't have anything. So let's, uh, let's uh, start our war up first off. Let's start our war against the Bells right here. Declare war. Boom. I am not going to call Macedonia or Athens into it. I don't want to have to lose them if they refuse to join in or anything. So let's just uh, declare war. The Swebi joined in, of course. So we're now at war with the Swebi as well. Uh, we we all need to do the battle. We It's a play, pretty clear victory right here. So let's just get them straight up. Boom. Just like that. So these guys are done for. Now we just need to deal with their actual uh, the Swebi. The actual Swebi themselves. Uh, my king, we're he's got a bonus right here. We are going to give him one of those right here. So what do we want to give him? Plug and trade. My, uh, plus one authority. Five campaign ma map movement would be very good. So we're going to take that uh, for sure. So my king is doing very well. We got uh, bells now. And this would be have pretty large territories overall. They've got three uh, regions, separate regions. It's going to be very interesting. We're moving on quite nicely, boys. We got a big horde going on right here. Uh, next up, via diplomacy, we got to keep uh, doing our thing, I guess. So keep uh, giving these guys money until the, eventually they accept to join our confederation. Why do they Why do they refuse all the time, though? I don't get it. What's the gimmick be to, uh, behind that, I guess? I don't. I don't know. Military alliance. They don't want military alliance. They don't want anything. But they, they got so much money at this point, I swear. Alright, so I did all my diplomacy that I had to do. I've got still a lot of money left, but nowhere to spend it. So I'm not exactly sure where I want to spend it at or where I want to send it at. 
Uh, I, I guess I could send it over to Rome to make them a bit stronger or something like that. Who I want to be stronger with, uh, I think I'm going to work it out uh, on with uh, the Romans really quick. I'm just going to work it on, boys. Just give them money just to try and make them uh, calm down a little bit. We do have a need, it, it looks like. Uh, from where exactly, though? Uh, from this place? That can't be, right? No, it's not from this place. So it's got to be from uh, this because of bells. No. Where do we have a Nidic from? I'm not entirely sure, boys. What it says. So you're remaining. Are you sure you want to end the turn? You follow concerns remaining Andres. Yeah, okay. So it's Armenia because I took this right here. I took their last uh, place. Migration, commercial stimulus. Most all, always going to do bread and games, I guess. Party, lo no, party loyalty. Party, party loyalty all day, every day, boys. I'm going to take that. And uh, the rest, I think I, I didn't move the, the spies, actually. I forgot to move the spies. I can't be forgetting about that. I want to cover as much as possible right here. So keep moving. There we go. We got some more stuff. Alexandria, Iarcosa. I guess Alex Alexander went all the way there. Uh, his empire still uh, used to be so strong, boys. It's unbelievable. Right before his death. All right, so we uh, got that. I'm actually going to move north now. We are uncovered mostly every single, uh, all of Italy, basically. So we don't need to worry about uh, uncovering more too much on the west. I want to uncover more towards Germany and France now. So I got to move north. All right, so we're in the next turn. We got a little bit of a problem. Some bonuses here and there for my generals, of course, like always. High change of a secession civil war. There's now a high chance of civil war breaking out each turn. All right. So objective land open to the enemy. So the enemy walks the lands as they, they own them. They cannot be allowed to pillage our precious resources. Send them back. Influence minus 12 nobles. Okay. So now we have the chance of secession, boys. So we uh, got to be careful about not having secessions happen or... Uh, like a civil wars, we got a huge empower, uh, em empire, so we really got to make sure that everything goes right for us. So we got to make sure that we got all the influence in the world in over in our entire empire right here. Otherwise, it's going to go pretty bad for for pretty much everyone. Now, our problem right here, it's uh, this. It's the fact that the Armenians... Uh, they scatter they're scattering across the world right here. They we also have the confederates so we can deal with the confederates. No problem uh, Right away. We can do that. So I'm gonna do that the Celtic Confederation I'm gonna finish them off once and for all boom. So they're done with that faction. is basically destroyed. There we go So we're, we've dealt with them uh, That's that's one thing done, but uh, now we got actually we, keep, we still have to worry about the goddamn Armenians, so I gotta deal with them. Uh, I'm gonna go against them. I'm gonna uh, rush against them and stuff like that. They decide to attack one of my cities. It is what it is, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do too much against uh, my uh, my places. Uh, we also, I'm gonna do loyalty everywhere now. Loyalty is gonna become very important for for us boys. Really important, very fast. Uh, we also have, yeah, we don't have that. So we're going to do uh, this thing right here. Anything else that we want to do? Anybody uh, anywhere else? So far, so uh, not really. We got this, uh, this one right here. Bonus, uh, anybody else? No, that we're good on that part. My general right here. All right, so they, um, the Parsians did mobilize against me. Right here, you can see there's a huge army upcoming towards me. Uh, my general is not fully healed up yet. Before I worry about that, I want to focus on other stuff too. So uh, my queen, I'm going to send her over. I'm going to send her over here. She's going to support my king. Uh, I, I need both armies to be together right now. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty bad. So yeah, I need to both of them to be together. Let me uh, just spend that to the max. All right, so my king... I need it to move towards here. So my queen is going to move towards that city while my king moves towards there, boys. So he's going to deal with that. Can we actually march him on? We can. So march him on just like that. And we're going to be good like that. Okay. Next up, we've got my uh, one of my spies right here. Right here. Keep on covering more, uh, more things right here, bu uh, buddy. Keep on covering uh, more. 
go over there and my other spy over Italy he's gonna move oh wait he's already moved oh yeah I already moved him that's right okay so we're good on that part all right so first thing we're gonna do faction they do have risk a hundred percent risk of them seceding boys they're very unhappy with us so secession is very much a thing right now uh, that could happen don't want that to happen at all we got to be careful uh, we've got uh, any bonuses for my generals or stuff we can educate uh, my uh, my son here so let's educate him good he's, he's been sent off to being educate educated boys uh, we are gonna purge them up purge these guys up there we go just like that they don't have any influence I don't think with influence without influence they can do anything it says they still have two regions belonging to them but I don't feel like they have any influence they might succeed if they succeed it is what it is but uh, I don't think they can do anything against us so let's go to do the, uh, the big time assault now it's time boys actually I'm gonna ignore these guys I'm gonna ignore the army that's there I'm actually gonna just straight up attack their their territory right here straight up take their territory for myself it's free territory uh, free real estate they didn't have um, anybody defending that place so there we go my cousin took that place boys for me just like that we got this so it's interesting because he took his mother's place basically for this whole play uh, he took his mother's place for uh, generalship over this army so that's kind of interesting keeps it in a family boys formidable fighters I'm gonna do that I'm also gonna do authority plus two experience and we are gonna do uh, this thing right here as well all right so we're good to go we got another full region now we just need to keep moving south right here deal with these Parsians uh, I kind of want to make peace with them I don't want to have to deal with them right now but uh, we'll keep dealing with them I, I I don't need to worry too much I, I don't think they're that scary boys you guys do you want to finally be joining my confederation or anything like at some point you are bound to ha have to accept or something buddy come on all right, let, we're bound to, we're going to have to eventually attack them, boys. I'm going to keep the, giving them money, but uh, I'm not holding it out for them. They're definitely never going to give me what I want. So at some point, we're going to have to conceive uh, the fact that we're going to have to invade them or something. All right, so 200 for you. There we go. Give you all the resources. Uh, we don't have really any wars. I think you, you have no way of going against the Armenians. So I think you just I'm just gonna give them the focus to go against the Armenia right here against the army right there there we go it's done boys so I peer us get the money and uh, I think we're good so we don't have anything else to do in this turn we're basically done everything think next turn boys our big empire is about to be broken too or two of our regions is about to secede probably now this is gonna probably it's gonna be a problem if it happens it's a problem but uh, hopefully it won't happen. Hopefully I'm not going to have to deal with that bullshit. Uh, first off, I do have like, yeah, I need to make sure that everybody's on party loyalty right now. I want to make sure that everybody's get switched up for that as well. And uh, get, uh, get that going as well right here. Okay, so every province is done basically. So we, we're good to go. Let's find out if we're going to have secession or civil war going on in the next turn. We're getting attacked uh, by the Armenians. I'm going to uh, just straight up defend it right here. 100% effectiveness. So let's just straight up do that. Uh, and uh, we don't have to worry about them. <laughs> just destroyed their army right there. I guess they're going to rush through me. Yeah, they're going to rush at me, boys, for the last few remaining of their armies. So I think just like that, I think that was their last two armies. So we are probably not going to have to deal with them anymore. They're probably dead for good. They rushed the last remaining uh, amount of other armies towards my cities, trying to do one last assault. No don't warrior. don't think it ha uh, don't think it worked out too much for them though. All right, so my war target has been invalidated because obviously they're dead. The Armenians have been destroyed, boys. So one war, another war done. Mission successful. Boom! A lot of treasury. Trade agreement dissolved. Secession happened. Of course, we got a secession in our country. Oh, it looks like it's over here. So. Both of these regions seceded from me, boys. We got a civil war going on. 
All right, family annals. Chimerius, in recent months, this family member has developed a following uh, by pro uh, prophesizing great fortunes for people who listen to their preachings. The larger the audience, the more outspoken of our family member becomes. They are now taking offerings from their followers. Needless to say, these offerings are accepted only in the form of precious items and coins. I guess it's fine. It's my cousin. Uh, Camerius is my cousin, so I guess it's fine. So war declared. The Nori and everything. Uh, Romans basically are at war with two uh, new factions. Uh, let me find out right here. We're going to do that. So we got a lot of stuff going on. We got another big time war going on against us. And this time it's our own faction. So we are at war with uh, the Royal Scythian Secessionist, I guess. So um, I guess the North decided to secede, boys. We got a civil war going on against uh, a family. Uh, our own little civil war. I'm going to secure loyalty for this um, new, I guess, family right here. Uh, they... That's interesting. At least once we're dealt with them, we're not going to have to worry about them anymore. I guess that's the one good thing, right? Let's keep giving a lot of gravitas to my cousin. How many gravitas? He's got 93. Yeah, he's got a lot of gravitas. Almost as much as my own king right here. That's, that's kind of crazy. I, uh, I mean, it's fine, I guess. All right, so we got, uh, we're good on that part. Family tree is good. What do we do now, though? Do I still have my four armies? I believe so, right? No, we got three armies. So one of my generals seceded. Is that it? Because, oh, that's my, uh, that's my king. Yeah, that's my king right here. First off, we're going to do, we're going to go towards here and we're going to attack this place. So we're going to attack, uh, we're going to attack Burgadis. We don't need to actually do the assault ourselves. So let's just, there we go. Out, out of resolve that. Boom. Storm of the Steeps. We took Burgundy's boys, and we got another region for ourselves entirely. Uh, we already have that, so I think what we can do is just go for this one. Boom, just like that. Give uh, him the bonus he wants. There we go, we're good. So now that we got that party loyalty, obviously that's what I want the most. My queen right here, she was moving towards this, this area in general. Oh yeah, that the army that seceded was this one, boys. Because this guy was from another, uh, from the other family. He wasn't from my family. He was the only general that wasn't from my family. So uh, this guy is going to be a problem. So we're going to build a, a new army right here. We're going to build a new one. Actually, not even build it here. We're just going to ignore these guys altogether. And we're just going to build a new one right here. Uh, or towards here. And we're going to start dealing with these guys. So uh, build a new army right here. Uh, we don't have anything that we can build anything special though i want to make sure that it's, uh, it's we build uh, an army that's somewhere uh, c uh, with uh, a good amount of resources to like build something interesting let me uh, send this army though over over here i guess this is where we got to go so let's send them over here boys we also have the bactrians close to us so we also got that they're fortifying themselves though the uh, Parsians. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to have, I guess, my army. I'm going to build it from here. Yeah, I've got plenty of things I can uh, get from here. So, who do I want to to be in that war right here? Madzia, I believe, is my my stepsister, basically. So, my stepsister, I think we uh, we could get her to be the general. So, let's get my sister's, uh, stepsister as my general. There we go, just like that. Uh, get her to be defender, uh, retrieve that. There we go. Just get in there. We are going to give you the bonus. All right. So let's give her. So since we got that, we're going to get these two things right here. And we're also going to get some melee units for the uh, for the actual cavalry. So we're going to do this one because it seems like to be the best one. Next up, uh, do we have actual people that can shoot stuff? Aside from the, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, like it. Aside from uh, my cavalry, seems to be the only one who can do range stuff. Well, missile damage. I think these guys are the best ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh, hold on. Yeah, three, four, five, six. There we go. I'm just gonna keep doing that back and forth, boys. And my army is gonna be complete in the next turn. So we're gonna have that full army 
we're gonna have to move it out it's gonna take a long time for them to move out because it's very far away uh for that uh, army in itself but um it is what it is i guess we don't have too much else that we can do about that uh this guy continue to uncover more so uncover this territory right here we're about to go towards there and uh, him over europe we are gonna go over the north right here so we haven't uncovered anything yet there we go Vizintio, and let's uh keep moving uh towards there i want to uncover uh the all in the entirety of germany before and before anything else as per this right here i think what i'm gonna end up doing oh i kind of want to make uh i should probably like declare peace i could literally declare peace and try and succeed like make them succeed and everything but uh i'm not gonna do that nevertheless like i could make peace and try and uh, like annex Just them all together as well but not gonna happen Yo, buddy, you want to join me once and for all, or what's going on, my girl? What's going on? Do you want to join me or not, right here? Because it's getting really frustrating. You don't, you do not want to join me. All right. Well, you're about to be at war with me in a second, my girl. Uh, Macedonia is still dealing with their problems. It seems like the Romans have actually invaded Greece right here, so they're actually uh, in the midst of invading greece that is not good for macedonia they gotta wake up a little bit they gotta wake up I, I pyrrhus you gotta be able to deal with this bullshit my my, my guy come on Pyrrhus and everything these guys gotta be able to deal with the the romans right now i'm giving all the resources possible for them to create armies protect themselves if they can't do anything right now it's i don't know what to say you know it's kind of uh stupid right here so deal with your uh, deal with your problems, my guy. We're being attacked by the world citizens. So my former general, which has a lot of military skills, boys, not good enough though to beat me. Uh, we do have the Bastilla. Uh, well, we could get that. Yeah, we can get some Bastilla and stuff like that. Which one is the best though? Uh, I guess any of them uh, are good enough. So we got two of them, some Bastilla. So we're gonna be able to defend ourselves. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let's do that battle, boys. Let's fight off against our former general right here. Defend our city. Let's do a defense, boys. Our actual first in-game battle defense. Uh, all the other ones that we uh, did the battles, in-game battles, we actually uh, were attacking. So we've got a couple of fortresses, uh, some gatehouse. It's not a really strong one. Like it's a very pre very weak kind of uh, walls right here. It's nothing too crazy to uh, roam about. But we have something they don't, which is grenades, boys. We always had that. So we have the my general and the I guess the cavalry. They're gonna be they're gonna be over here, defending. All right, they're gonna be over here defending. We're obviously gonna create a group selection for these guys. The rest of them uh, of my actual army, I'm going to move them towards, I'm, I'm going to protect my gates as well. So they're all going to come towards my gates, right? So I'm going to move them towards my gates right here. And you, you are just simply going to go here. There we go. They're all going to go there and they're, they're going to defend my gates, boys. That's as simple as that. That's all I can say about that. So... Defend. We got a natural defensive position from here. I don't think they can invade me from here. They're definitely going to try to invade me from this place. Probably from the other place as well. You never know. But uh, one thing is for sure. Both of them are going to have explosive arrows equipped. And we're going to jump on in, boys. So let's do our thing right here. Boom. Explosive arrows. You're going to fill our wrath. You ha you, they have, first off, there we go. We're destroying their battering rams. We're, we're going to destroy their things. And the thing is, they, 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 they cannot expect to defeat us, boys. It's not going to happen. They can't defeat us. There we go. The, the ladders are going to de be destroyed. That's the only way for them. They don't have actual battering arms. They only have ladders. So they can't actually assault us. Without, without ladders, they can't do shit. Right? They can't move towards our walls or anything. So we can just kill them off easily with our explosive arrows and stuff so that uh that's gonna be very easy to do the ladder itself is not taking any damage or what's going on here oh okay no i think it is i think it is taking damage 
I mean, we're doing a lot of damage. I think these guys, though, they need to, um, they need to, they need to attack any uh, somebody else, though. They need to actually assault. Um, uh, there we go. They need to, they need to target somebody else, like target uh, uh, another f uh, place entirely. Forget about the ladders. I think the ladders, uh, it's already pretty bad. I, I, I don't care about the ladders. Just, just kill the enemies behind them. Slowly but surely, they're getting destroyed. It's just taking a while for for us to actually destroy uh, the actual um, the actual stuff. So keep attacking, keep assaulting, keep destroying these uh, these uh, I guess these places. There we go. Attack them and uh, continue to to do the assault, my guy. Continue to uh, to assault them right here. There we go. There we go. Keep uh, keep shooting at the. Uh, uh, at them with a bunch of explosives and stuff bunch of grenades. They're gonna get killed The, mo the closer they get the closer they're gonna uh, they're, they're gonna die man. We still have that army right here The ladders are still coming by though. They're made strong to uh, resist explosive arrows and stuff They're marching in one of the ladders has been positioned boys uh, Not good, but they're getting destroyed before they even can go, uh, come in and stuff like that uh, the other ladder is about to... Oh, they got other ladder? They got another one. Yo, they uh, they have a lot of resources here. We got to destroy all the ladders. There we go. That ladder is being uh, dealt with right here. So that's uh, that's good in itself. I mean, uh, we got to deal with this one. We're never going to be able to do it, boys. We're, ne we're never going to be able to defend it because they've got too many ladders. That's very hard to defend against. It's just too hard to defend against. They're marching on now. They're actually coming by now. So that is not good. Wait, we're going off the walls right here? What's going on here? Oh. Whoa, oh, okay. Well, attack these guys. Attack these guys. They're, uh, defend our place right here, buddy. There we go. And square formation. Not really. Just attack these. There we go. So we're attacking them. Uh, we've got my actual... Oh, my actual guys right here i forgot to create a group from them uh keep them into the walls right here keep them into the walls stay here don't be afraid you're gonna you're gonna be good you're gonna be good i got my army de dealing with that right now don't worry about it shit man they're getting scared off right now this is not good i mean i've got my general that's probably their general and stuff let me see really quick is that their general I, it might be I'm not sure where the, our actual enemy like former general is and stuff like that Where is he hiding at but this is gonna be a huge battle boys. I don't know what to expect right here I legit don't know what to expect. This is gonna be a rough one. Uh, you are gonna go into assault malt uh, Right here. There we go. Just to make sure all my cavalry are prepared So we discovered an uh, enemy uh, hidden unit doesn't matter. They're all coming by There's some of them coming by from here I'm actually gonna send one of my one of my archers. Yeah, I'm gonna send them over here, so they can deal with the uh, with whatever is going on here. There we go. Toggle unit speed, so they can go faster here. I'm gonna keep keep uh, these guys here. Keep them uh, f uh, at charging speed right here. Keep uh, giving explosions into them. They've got more more uh, ladders coming by as well. They're bombarding us. Like crazy, shit's crazy, boys. All right, so what we're gonna do? Uh, we gotta keep putting them, keeping them from the gates right here. So we're actually gonna come by right here. We're gonna go out of the gates, boys, and actually assault them. We're actually gonna do it. We're gonna assault them. We're gonna march, march out of our own gates and uh, destroy them from there. I don't want the one thing we do want to do is prevent them from going to the city itself. So just keep assaulting. Keep doing your thing right there. Good job, good job, good job, buddy. You're doing, uh, you're doing great right now. We got, uh, yeah, we're still on explosives. We're still on explosive for both of them, so we're doing good. We're doing good. March on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go assault them, big time. Assault them big time. You got this. Boom. We're marching on, boys. We're marching out of the gates. We're actually attacking them. Straight up. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot of uh, a lot of damage right here. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Doing quite a lot, a bit amount of damage with our 
our, uh, our arrows and stuff good all right these guys to do good you're doing good on your side buddy do good 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 keep it going keep doing your thing let's go you got this we've got toggle guard mode all right so we are gonna continue our assault so go go over here continue our assault buddy attack them big time these guys are done for right here we're dealt with them let's keep uh, assaulting them and actually assault them right here finish them off uh attack them before they actually enter the ladder and stuff like that there we go we're preventing these guys from actually entering the the ladders and stuff the positioning all right we think we're good we, we keep bombarding these guys over here on the right flank and on the left flank we uh, keep doing our thing as well which is uh very good for us and uh, i might as well be tempted to actually put these guys over here kind of want to put uh kind of want to put them over here they're more secured here so yeah we're going to move them right here and my melee units they're still attacking these guys damn there's a lot of look at all the melee units oh that's got to be their general that's the general right here boys there he is that's the guy he's about to die though he's about to die because he's getting exploded like crazy there we go that's our former general right here enemy general is dead we killed him we did it boys All right march on march on boys attack them go 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 attack them big time All right, these guys on the left flank are fleeing on the the middle ground they're fleeing as well so they're basically done with there's only these guys remaining one army left and after that they're basically done for boys so uh that's a massive win for us massive win for us boys we definitely defeated them there we go their battles won battles won for the day boys keep assaulting them keep marching against them right here go 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 and uh my general right here he's just gonna keep moving all right so end the battle boys that was a huge battle right there obviously we lost uh basically all of their uh, we killed all of their unit over 2000 kill for one of my archers and uh 1500 kills for another uh, the other one so really good boys all right well huge battle right here boys uh ba we didn't finish them off but uh we killed most of them so that's a good thing we're just gonna have to well, they're probably going to try another uh, stupid assault or something and they're going to end up killing themselves by throwing themselves at us. So uh, we don't really need to do too much about that. That's pretty much the only army they've got as of right now as well. So they it's not like they uh, have too much of a... Uh, there are too much danger of uh, uh, to us right? Uh, really quick. Uh, 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 really. So econ economic intent... We got uh, trade, agriculture, or industry. Let's do industry always, boys. We got to move out a big time, right? Rise out. So faction rises. Well, what was that? What faction did rise? The Sards rised. So we got a brand new faction uh, towards this region right here. Okay. Uh, we got uh, some new stuff, new technologies we need to work on right here. There we go. Just like that. All right. So let's keep um, one more turn, boys. Let's keep one more turn going. Uh, what I'm going to do right here, I guess, is we're going to do the. Uh, we already did pretty much everything right here. So uh, we got to deal with these guys eventually. But they don't have too much left uh, to do. They're pretty mediocre at the, at this point of the timeline right here, boys. We're getting destroyed big time. They're not any danger to us at all. Let's uh, do every single one of these things right here. Upgrade all of our things. There we go. Get uh, that right here as well. All right, I think we're good. All right, so uh, my queen, we are marching you towards here. There we go. Just keep marching you right there. Yeah, there we go. And uh, next turn, she's gonna be able to take care of this. This is a big army right here. So my queen might be in danger. Well, she might be uh, caught off off guard a little bit. We're probably gonna try and uh, attack her while she's marching i don't think it's going to do too much for them anyways but you know at least uh maybe it's going to be a bit of a bonus let's upgrade that right here all right so my queen my king get him over here boys they only have two territories left these two right here so my queen's going to take this my king's going to take the other one uh we got a massive army right here incoming so let's uh just target them really quick 
Uh, we've got our actual spies. I want to send my spies over just to make sure beforehand. There we go. Uncover these. We still haven't uncovered most of the Middle East, boys. So uh, that's one thing we still have to do. Uh, this right here, this spy. There we go. Uncover a little bit more of what's going on over here. Almost done uncovering uh, all of this right here. Uh, next up, we have our general right here that we were working on, right? Well, not working on the other ones right here, but we uh, we have uh, uh, our guy right here, which is our cousin. We are going to send him over to this place. It's uh, not... Okay, so I was about to say pretty well defended, but uh, not really. We have the Bactrians not far behind us. So we're just going to do uh, auto resolve for this one. Boom. Just do a simple auto resolve. We're going to uh, auto, uh, automatically do these things right here. Just do this right here. There we go. Just like that. And uh, all of this is good. We're going to do party loyalty. And we are good to go. We got uh, some bonuses here and there for all my uh, guys. For all my army. Entire army and stuff. Uh, do we have a bonus? Not at all. Alright, so we're good. So another army right there. I don't know how many more cities they've got left. I think that's the only city they've got left. The Parsians probably. So if we take care of that, we might be able to uh, take care of them entirely. They still have a, a like a gen random general roaming by in that region. And uh, we've got so our stepsister, which is basically um, the, the wife of our cousin. She's over here. She just got a brand new army. We're going to make her march north. So what I need to do, I guess, is make her go on march. She's going to go here. It's going to take a while for her to get there. Hopefully she can get there soon enough because I don't want to have to wait too long to attack these guys. Uh, next up, faction-wise, do we have to do anything? Doesn't look like it. I don't think we have too many bonuses that we can really do or anything. We can do support for our own uh, thing, but... Don't think it matters too much. They have one region, but I don't think they're gonna secede these ones this time around. So, oh, uh, oops, I did purge by accident. Well, I can't be doing purge too much because if I keep doing that, boys, it's gonna be pretty bad. All right, so I think we're good. Uh, the rest is just me basically doing a bunch of the good old diplomacy thingies for uh, Macedonia, which they upgraded big time. I mean, they're starting to grow a little bit uh it's sure for sure i mean sparta belongs to the romans now but if they can manage to somehow get there i mean you can see they're mobilizing there's a, probably a big army going by uh just waiting right here there's a big army that's gonna happen a big battle is gonna happen here it's just bound to happen so uh i'm rooting for the macedonians that's for sure but we'll find out what happens with them in the next turn remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy this video i'll see you guys for the next one Keep it easy.